And I really just believe that the things that God's working on in me are probably really similar to other things that people are struggling with. And so for me, it's very cathartic to write about those experiences, but I also want others to journey with me. So I'm not always coming from a place of perfection in these topics, but still on the journey. And let's do this together. And let me share with you some of the things that God has revealed in me and allowed me to progress in so that I can live life to the full, because I want that for others as well. So good. And I think it's a commonplace, right? And I think it's commonplace for, I want to say, I'm going to say, how do I want to say this? Woke people. And I'm going to say woke versus Christian with intention, because it seems like a lot of the triggered conversations aren't necessarily conversations that are happening inside of the church. They're they're conversations that might be happening in really safe small groups or in women's retreats. Like I just hosted one in Mexico and we had an opportunity to discuss all of these things, but it's not commonplace in what people see in common form Christianity or right. especially Catholicism. Yes. Can we talk through why, where, Please. how? <laughs> yeah, Let's do for it. sure. And I think the number one reason, Tamara, you're so right. It thrills me that you picked up on that. And I want to talk about this because you're right. I think one of the reasons why is because there's a stigma attached, right? So like initially when I started writing about my struggle with anger and parenting, like who wants to sit, raise their hand and say, hey, I struggle with being an angry mom. You know, nobody's was really doing that. And so I felt very isolated and I felt a lot of shame. And I think that that is one of the enemy's tactics is for us to feel shame um, about ourselves and and whatever issues that we may be having or sin or whatever. And, and whatever our struggles even are just natural being a human being. And so my desire was that I wanted to destigmatize some of these issues. And I wanted to do this journey in private, no doubt about it. I didn't want to like air like all of my yeah, <laughs> imperfections. Yeah, yeah. And then God. But yeah, God. Yeah. But God <laughs> was like, no, I'm gonna have you go ahead and just lay it all out there and then I'm gonna use it. And so it has been a blessing. But I think there's the stigma. We don't want to feel shame. And also we want to do it in a way that is sensitive, right? I mean, in in no way do I want any of my readers in any of these areas, whether it's parenting, marriage, or their health journey, to feel guilt and condemnation because that is not from God. You know, God gives us gentle, loving conviction so that we make steps in the right direction. And I really want to come from a place of kindness and a place where there is no judgment. And I think that because I'm a person who's been through these same struggles, they're going to pick up on that. Like, this is not someone who's going to judge you for where you're at. She gets it. She understands. And let's compassionately move forward in some of these areas one step at a time. Yeah, I love that. And I think that's where people often think that in order to write the book or start the podcast or even start the business that you have to have all of it figured out. And honestly, if we all had it figured out, none of us would have a business, a book or a podcast because that's not the point. (laughs) And I love that God gives us conviction in the timing that is right for us. And that does seem to appear on drastically different levels of completion, I guess, or sanctification, or even your journey within your relationship with the Lord. I mean, I was a newbie Christian. I was a baby Christian when God convicted me to start speaking to the point where I'm like, I don't know scripture like they do. I couldn't stand up and do it like them. And that was all the more why he kept pushing me, kept pushing me, kept pushing me. It's exactly the reason that you who are listening, what you're being called or summoned to is ultimately him. That's what you're being called or summoned to, right? Let's just get that really clear. Your calling is to him. Um, But the way in which you show up in the world to help activate other people to answer the calling might be something that's not in a specific like form or timing that makes sense to anyone around you, specifically your family, (laughs) just so you know. The people who love you most are often the ones who want you to stay in the safe comfort zone and maybe even stay, not that they would want you blanketed in shame, but they want to to know you as they know you. They don't want to see this blossomed form. 